All right, I've got a strange one today. This is my 2017 Grand Sport. This car has 6,000 miles on it, so obviously it spends a lot of time inside, out of the elements, protected, you would think. Uh, but it's spring and I'm kind of going through the car and I lifted up the trunk lid and watch what happens when I let go. I mean, this car still smells new. It's like a new car, but somehow those lift struts failed. So I went online thinking that it was going to be a real common thing and I don't really see other people talking about it. So I'm not sure what's going on with my car, but I figure I'll take a video of how to do this and it probably won't be a popular video for many years, but down the line when these things start to fail, uh, maybe people will be able to see the video and um, have a quick reference how to fix it. So anyway, let me grab some stuff and I'll be back. Alright, so obviously I've got to keep the trunk open while I do this, so uh, if you've got another set of hands, I mean that's easiest, but in my case I just found some rope and I've tied the trunk to the top of the garage uh, hinge there so that'll keep it up while I look to see how to remove these struts alright before we take the strut off I want to make sure that I bought the right replacement here um, so I'll remove these and kind of compare but um, just FYI, so I went to try to find the replacement struts. The OEMs were pretty expensive, like 60 or $70 each, and you buy two of them. Um, plus, availability wasn't that great. I went to Rock Auto. I found a bunch of alternatives, some really cheap ones. Um, but the shipping time for me was going to be a week or so. Um, so I went on Amazon for kicks, and sure enough, there was a reseller. Um, here's what he's got uh, for part numbers. I can put a link to it. Who knows how long these sellers continue to, to stay on Amazon and whether they still have this product. But, but anyway, these were like under 40 bucks. Okay, so 30-something dollars. And if it's not as good as OEM, I'd be surprised because, again, these only lasted four years. So to spend like 160 bucks for struts that last four years, I'd rather take a chance on these cheaper ones. So, all right, let's go look how we're going to do this. Um, right off the bat, this looks like it's going to be easy. Look at this. This spring clip just pries out and the whole thing's going to come off the ball. And I was looking at the top and it's got the same thing. So this is going to be a really quick, easy fix because I think I can do it with one hand. Look at that. Okay, same thing with the top. We're just going to pry out and it just pops right off. Okay? Okay, so with installation, I did have to go get the tripod, but um, I just want to show you, because you're coming in up here, you can't really use this slot, which would be really convenient because see this slot right here from the top? You can pull back on that very easily. So here's what I suggest. Start on the top, pull it up. And even this is tough trying to keep it on camera. So pull it up and then get like a smaller screwdriver in here before you go to mount. So let me do that off camera so I can hold it between my legs here. All right, so here we are, see? So I've got this little screwdriver, we've got the clip out, and if you can see inside there, the clip, it has expanded, all right? If it hadn't expanded, this is what it would look like. Um, so that's what it'll look like when we release it. So we're gonna put it on here, then I'm just gonna remove my screwdriver, okay? Simple as that. And let's go down. All right, on the bottom, same thing. It's easier to come in from the top with your screwdriver, then get the little one into the bottom, okay? And that'll expand the clip. Now it's just a matter of putting it on that ball. Now, this trunk's a little, uh, it's kind of sagging a little, so I'm gonna lift it with one hand. And there, we got on there. 
And we're gonna make sure our clip clips. You heard it. All right, so there's one side. I'm gonna repeat that on the, the other side and I'll be right back. All right, we got the rope removed. You can see the trunk tries to stay up. If you get to this point, it stays down. And if I push on it, the electronic latch pulls it down. So let's see if it pops up. Yep, pops up nice and clean so I can grab it. The old ones were getting worse and worse. I'd have to actually pry the trunk up after I released. So that's it. Real quick video, real simple DIY job. Um, I didn't see any videos on YouTube. I didn't even see forum posts about this. I, I don't know how many people have even had this problem, but at least if you have to do this, you've got a video that you can just follow along pretty easily. So hope, hope this helps and good luck.